Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat, and today we're going to take a look at Explain on Teachers Tech. Uh, so what you just saw was an actual example of using Explain, and it probably took me a matter of three or four minutes to uh, produce it and to download it and hit play on it. So it's a very easy program to use. I'm using a 14-day trial on it, and let me show you how it works very simply. So I'm just going to exit out of my video that I created here, and I'm going to go right over into my Explay account here. So like I already said, I'm on a 14-day uh, trial. You can see I have 13 days left in mine. Uh, so uh, I was looking at a few different, uh, they do have an education account and they do have your business accounts. Uh, I haven't seen anything free on this. Uh, there is a, a cheaper cost to uh, the education account versus the uh, public or business account. And I'll just put some links in my description so you can check both out. So I've already logged in here. Uh, and to start uh, with an explain, it's a very simple process. All I need to do is hit the start blank here. And I'm going to, and then it'll take me to a screen. And probably when I first saw it, what I kind of thought of it looked like Prezi that I was going to be working with. And it is kind of similar in a nonlinear type of way, um, how you can place things on your canvas uh, in the background here. So I'm going to just start with some basic things, putting on pictures. And within a few minutes, you're going to be an expert um, at this because it's a very simple program to use. So if we want a picture, we just have to click on this very uh, top one where it says pictures here. And they have thousands of um, little uh, little pictures in here that you can go through from logos. You can see everything's in categorized uh, uh, places and things. So uh, I'm just going to pick, uh, let's pick a, uh, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pick my logos here. And I'm going to pick a, let's pick a, hmm. Okay, I'm just going to pick a YouTube, uh, I'll just pick this one here so you can see what uh, some of the sketches, some really neat sketches in it here. So I've inserted a picture now and right away there's already a animation added to it when I hit play here. So I'm going to just, what I'm going to do is zoom up. You can see it from here. You can zoom and move around, sort of like how Prezi works on it. I could take this, select this, I can uh, stretch the corners, I can rotate. Um, on it just like normal ways to grab the handles. When you click on it, you get um, your options here from your effects to your grouping, to your duplicates, to your range and your trash here. So I'm just gonna hit play right away to show you an example. Uh, there's already something I created here and it defaults to the drawing mode. So if I hit play, it pops up and it shows you um, what happens when, when you do that. So it took that little YouTube uh, image and then turned it into a animated uh, animated drawing. So every time you put one of these down here at the bottom, think of it like a camera shot. You're working within a camera shot. And then you also, you can play around in that camera shot a little bit, even with the timing. So if you want to open up uh, and see how long things are running uh, in that element or camera shot, uh, you can see here is how long it takes to draw it here. You can see it's under, uh, at two seconds right now. So I could stretch that out um, on this if I wanted it to take three seconds to draw. And if I hit play on this, it'll just take it a little slower. Uh, if I wanted it to go faster on one second, and then it's going to speed it up a bit like that. So I can also change the length of my element. So when I'm saying element, I'm just talking about each of of these down here. So if I click right here where it says three seconds, so three S here, I could make it, um, I could make it longer, uh, like five seconds, and then you can see how it stretched out uh, the bar. So I could insert a number of different images, and each time I insert an image, it's going to give me a new um, a new uh, camera shot or a new uh, element. So for instance, I'll take a, let's pick a Twitter uh, one here. I'll just close this here, and then now I have a Twitter one. And you can see, on this case, I have a brand new camera shot or element here, which I can adjust all the same thing. So when I click on each one, you can see this says element one, this says element two here. Now, um, the other thing uh, you can do with your images is you can upload images. So how you do that, you can go to here and you can see there's an upload here. Uh, you can drag it into it. I'm just gonna hit select. And I have, uh, I'm just gonna go to my desktop. I took some examples here. So let's say I take, um, let's go with Lord Vader here. You can see I'm thinking about the new Star Wars movie. And so what you do after you can see it's selected, but it's not up there yet. So what you have to do is hit the upload here and then it's going to upload here. These are images I've already uploaded in that little preview that I showed at the beginning here. It usually takes a couple seconds for it to uh, format it here. 
and then I'll be able to drag it over. So if I, or even tap it, and then it will go into here. So one thing I noticed, make sure you pick a pretty good size of an image when you put it in. So in this case, this one was about, uh, I believe about a thousand by uh, 800 on the pixel size on this one. So right away, so even if you bring in an image, you can see right now, this is a, under the third uh, element here. If I hit play, on this one, you can see it will draw out uh, Darth Vader there too. I have all the same options that um, that I can put uh, uh, with the timing and everything on it. So I'm just going to close out of this, and then so uh, if you want to get rid of anything in your library, you can just hit Edit Your Images, and you can go through and hit the X's, and it will uh, exit them out of your library. So another thing you can do is add text. Now to add text, you just need to select the T here. And at this point, you can put your uh, whatever font that you want on it. So I'll just pick one here. Let's go with, oh, we'll just leave it Homestead. And I can pick a title, subtitle, or body text. I'm just going to hit uh, add title here. And then I'm going to just write, I'll just write explain on this one. So just as you notice, once I um, once I uh, click off it, it started another element here. So it's just like uh, and it, like a picture. When I add a new display uh, or add it in here, it creates a new camera shot or element. And I can add all the same effects to this. Again, by default, it will go to the drawing. And I'll show you how to change it to a different one um, right after I show the example of how the text looks here. So I'll just hit play here. And you can see it spells out explee there. So with any of these, um, with any of these images or fonts that, that you have on here, you can change the, the type of animation. You don't have to use the drawing animation here. So for an example, if I just click on the explee one here and I go to the effects, you can see it's under the build and it's under draw. And I could pick something else. I could have it slide in or draw or fade. So if I uh, select uh, the fade, and then if I go back to this one and hit play again, you can see it it won't be drawn in. So you do have an option uh, to uh, change the type of effect on it. So, and you can do it to either uh, any of these. So the next thing, uh, what I want to show you is how you can kind of group things together in one camera shot. So if we have, uh, if you didn't want, um, uh, if you didn't want the words and the image separately, you can group them. So let's say if I just take this uh, Darth Vader, one here, if I just click on this element, I'm just gonna write, uh, add more text in here, and I'll, I'm just gonna write, um, I'll just keep that the same, add another title, and I'll just write uh, Darth Vader here. Okay, and so at this, I'm just gonna move it over here. I'm gonna move my uh, Darth Vader over on top of it. So you can see I still have two different elements here, but let's say if I want them together on the same element, what I have to do is if I click on Darth and I hold my shift key and then click the other one, you can see they're both selected and then I can go to group and group. So now you notice one of my um, one of my elements disappeared because they're combined on this and then I can add the effect um, on this. So if I play this one now, you can see it draws it all out at once. Now you can kind of make that a little bit better so it makes a little bit more sense. So if I go uh, back to my uh, Darth Vader one with a, here, what I can do is look at my um, look at my timeline here so you can see there's the image and there's the word so maybe i want the image to come up first and so what i can do is i'm going to change this to over here i want this to come second so now if i hit play on this again you can see well the darth vader gets drawn first and then his name underneath it so it's something that you can um, play around with and the more things you can group, you can group more than two things and then you'll just get a larger timeline and then you have to fiddle with uh, where you want your timeline, uh, what do you want drawn first in what, in what order. You can also add music very quickly to explain. So just go up to the audios up here, the music notes and click on them and you get a range of different type of music that you can add to it. I'm just gonna pick uh, this first one here and all you need to do is drag it on top here. And uh, now at this point, if I hit play, I'll go back to my very, it's already on the very beginning one, and I hit play, the music will be added into it. I can select how, where I want the music to start on this. So let's say if I didn't want the music to start uh, three seconds uh, in, uh, that's where I would write it here. And so now if I uh, go to the very beginning again, oops, let me go to the beginning here, and you notice it doesn't stay, it doesn't start until uh, the time allotted into it. So I noticed there's a second difference between the number I put it here and the number I 
put uh, that I get on the timeline here too. So there must be a second uh, difference between that. So the other thing you can add is also uh, text to speech. And so I already had written something here uh, and you can preview Welcome it. Welcome to explain. And then what you do is you drag it over, boom. And I already uh, dragged that one over. I just noticed there that I had before. And then it will be uh, put into it. So uh, what you can do um, now is if I want this to start, um, let's say I start this at the very beginning, I'll put zero here. So that means that voice will come out first and then the music will start uh, quickly uh, right after that. So if I hit play now. Welcome to explain. So again, you can kind of play with the timings like that. So um, that kind of sums up um, all the different uh, uh, items you can use uh, with creating your display. I'm going to show you how to do your export next, but very simple to uh, put together a very quick uh, presentation, I think, and a little bit different than uh, some of the ones that uh, we've seen around. So at any time too, uh, you can save, uh, make sure save and exit or just save here too. So um, you can, when you hit save for the first time, uh, you can uh, hit, uh, I'll just call this, uh, we'll just call this test explain and hit okay. And so it'll be saved. You can see the check mark there. So at any time I can, if I wanted to exit out, I can save and exit out there. Now this is where I can export it uh, to get it as a video format here. So if I hit export, uh, you get a few different uh, uh, options here. You can go with high quality. You get your 1080p or 720p. I'm just going to go uh, high quality. I'll go 720p and I'm, uh, well, I'll just leave it public for now. And then I'm going to hit export. And what it does is it takes a few seconds uh, to do this, probably about a minute. You can see it works through. And here it's reminding me that my I only have 13 days left on my on my free trial here. So if this takes too long, what I'm going to do is just uh, cut this video off and then I'm going to show you the uh, completed part uh, when it comes up. Now, as you can see, my, uh, I got the message back and it said, congrats, your video is ready. So at this point, we can watch it here. I'll just click Welcome watch it. And I know this is not great of a video. It's just some examples in it. But what I notice once it's processed, the uh, quality picks up in the drawings. And the music does fade out. They add a fade out at the end of it that you don't have to add. So I'm just going to go back to my videos. I'm going to click up top here. You can see I can go to the new video or if I wanted to upgrade my account. Um, but I'm going to click on my videos here. And what you'll see is this is the video here that we just created here. And this is um, where I was working in my edit draft. So if I did want to add more stuff and fix it up. Now, what I like the option is um, uh, on this one too, I can share this out here, but I can also download it here. So if I hit download, it uh, downloads it as a, uh, as a MP4 file. So I can click on it and watch it uh, from my desktop here too. So I can actually have the file. So I could insert this into uh, different editing software um, to it. So uh, one of the things that with the different accounts, you'll notice that uh, with watermark, uh, to get rid of, you have to pay different levels if you want if you want to get rid of the XP watermark. Uh, and you can add your own watermark uh, to the videos too. Uh, so this was my little tutorial of how to um, use Explay. Uh, hopefully it kind of covered everything that you need to know about this. It's a neat little product. Uh, product. Um, take a look at it. Use your 14-day trial. I'll talk to you later. And if you like uh, what you see here, please subscribe to my channel here at uh, Teachers Tech.